Once he started yelling at me about a few of the things he found in the car, I just stared at him. It worked, I think. Anyway, two items Rick and TC found were totally unfamiliar and therefore promising. One was a parking stub from the evening of Joni's murder, and the other was a business card of a curio shop proprietor named Kanoki. So, I decided to follow up the leads scientifically. I flipped a coin and tried the restaurant first. Good afternoon. Enjoy your dinner. Excuse me. Yes? I was in here Tuesday night. Yes. Would you have a reservations list for that evening? Uh, yes. My name's Magnum, Thomas Magnum. I don't see you. Well, maybe it was in my friend's name, Kenoki. Kenoki? No. May I? Sure. Thank you. I was beginning to get a little scared. The business card from Holoka Antiques was my last tangible link to whatever happened that night. I just hoped it was more tangible than the parking stub from the Crouching Lion restaurant. Is uh, Mr. Kanoki here? May I help you? No, it's personal. Mr. Kanoki was going to show me some special scrimshaw. Mr. Kanoki? Yeah, I, I talked to him Tuesday. On the phone? Yeah. Mr. Kanoki's been away on a buying trip in Australia the last month. Perhaps you talked with someone else. Mr. Blackmore's been taking most of his clients. He'll be back in a half hour. Would he have given me Mr. Kanoki's car? Everyone has their own cards. We don't pencil people in at Holoka Curios. No, of course not. Mahalo. Bye. A restaurant I'd never been in, a curio dealer I'd never met, places I'd never seen. The only reality was Joni Green was dead. I had amnesia, 